Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the on-click functionality in Leaflet. So instead of using the standard markers, we're going to use some custom markers. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, so let's get started. As always, I'm going to start with a very simple web map because I like to keep these tutorials very, very simple and hopefully you can follow along a lot easier. So I'll put a link in the description down below on a very simple web map that I created, as well as another video I just did about on-click functions where we use just the standard default marker. Of course, in this tutorial, we'll change that up and actually add some, some custom markers. So let's go ahead and get started. So in the body, let's go ahead and add an area called custom marker. So in my project folder, I have a PNG file called tree, and that's the custom marker we're going to use. We're going to reference that. Okay, so variable icon options equals, we're going to do a curly bracket, say icon URL. And the name of that file. So in my case, it's going to be a tree, PNG. Okay, put a comma. And now we can put the icon size. Um, I'm just gonna. Go. I'm just gonna start with like a standard uh, size here, but you know, feel free to, to to change it up however it fits better in your map. So we have the the name of the file. We have the size of it. Now let's go ahead and another variable, custom icon equals L icon icon options. Okay. Another variable, we're going to say marker options equals in curly brackets. Now here we could say icon. Um, we could we could do like the if it's draggable. You could click onto it, have a, a call out. I'll keep this a little shorter, um, but you could add that under this marker options. So custom icon. Well, let's do that. Say true. And again, in the link, I'll include a link on another video I did about uh, custom icons and how we could just change the color and the size of the draggable. Click onto it, there's a call out, etc. But for this, we'll just keep it really simple. Okay, so here we're just calling out our custom marker. Again, this is my tree PNG, the size. And I'm just saying, hey, I want it to be draggable. Um, it's my custom icon. And again, you can add more stuff here if you like, but for this purpose, I'm not gonna do that. So map on, click, comma, function, E, and curly bracket. We are going to do variable, let's say um, marker click equals new L marker. Here we're going to do E lat long. Lat E lat. Oops, let's see, he lat long, lat long, yeah. So this is just saying like anywhere, opposed to a specific lat long, I'm just basically say anywhere I click, I'm gonna get that custom marker. Okay, so we are going to, after that, go comma, marker options. We're gonna pull those in. And we are gonna add to map. All right, so here's our click function. And we can certainly 
do something like this too if you like, um, just to keep everything kind of clean. Um, let's keep our on click function. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. On our map, I'll go ahead and refresh. And if I start clicking anywhere, I'm going to get that custom marker. So again, a very simple tutorial. Um, I hope you guys found that useful. As always, please leave a comment down below. If you have any questions or any suggestions on any future demos you'd like to see, I'd be more happy to do that for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. It really helps me. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.